This tutorial shows you how to use files stored in other geographic formats in Maptitude. Maptitude supports numerous GIS and CAD formats including Esri shapefiles, ArcView project files and legend files, and Microsoft map point files. To open a geographic file and see it in a new map window, click the File Open button, choose the file type from this drop-down menu. For example, you can open an OpenStreetMap, a Google Earth file, a MapInfo interchange file, an AutoCAD DXF or DWG, or in this case, I'm going to use an Esri shape file. Choose the file to open, and use the Add to Map checkbox to choose whether to open the layer by itself or in a Maptitude map. I'm going to leave this box checked to open the shape file as part of a map with other Maptitude country package layers, and click Open. Enter a name for the layer as it should appear in Maptitude. Also, you often will have the option to import the layer. If you want to convert the layer into a Maptitude format, check this checkbox. Otherwise, leave it unchecked to use the file in its native format. You also have the option with some files, such as shapefiles, of making them topological by checking this box when you import. Maptitude opens the layer and displays it in a map. Just like any other layer, you can add labels to it, change the style, add a theme, etc. For example, I will add a color theme of the primary use on this zoning map. Because I know that there are no overlapping areas in this layer, I will uncheck this box so that the theme will show as a solid color fill rather than a border color theme. Notice that now that I have added the theme, the zoning layer I added obscures some of the other map layers like the highways. When I zoom in, you can see this more clearly. So I'm going to rearrange the order of the layers by clicking the Layers button, highlighting the layers that I want to draw after the zoning layer that I imported, and clicking Move Down. Now, when I close the Layers dialog box, you can see that the zoning layer is under the other layers in the map. You can also add other geographic format layers to an open map. I'm going to click the Layers button again, only this time I'm going to click Add Layer. Choose one of the available file types, choose one or more files, and click Open. Again, you have the option to rename the layers in the map to do map, but I'm going to go ahead and just use this default name and click OK. I will, however, go ahead and change the style for the layer I'm adding. And finally, click Close to see the map with the new layer I just added. There will be some slight variations in the dialog boxes and options depending upon the type of file you choose to open. For example, let me close this map, and this time I'm going to click Open, and choose to use a Google Earth KMZ format file. I'll choose Google Earth document as my file type, choose this file that I downloaded of traffic signals, and click Open. Maptitude cannot read Google Earth document files directly, so it will have to import the file into a Maptitude format, so you'll see that there is no import checkbox this time. I'll go ahead and click OK, and choose a folder into which to save the imported file. I'm going to go ahead and use the same folder where my KMZ file was located, so I can go ahead and click Select Folder. Maptitude imports the KMZ file, and displays it in a new map. And that wraps up this tutorial on using other geographic file formats with Maptitude.